Evening, everyone, and welcome to Win Jubilee on this chilly Friday. I'm Marty Haynes, joined by Wendell Saylor, the St George Illawarra Dragons ambassador for Dragons TV, thanks to celebrations, and uh, injured Dragon star Brett Morris. Hey, boys, how are you feeling? Good evening. A bit chilly? Yeah, very cold, mate, very cold. Dell, how's your week been, mate? Good? Uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. Uh, been around the boys a little bit this week, and uh, a couple of young blokes have really stepped up at training, so... Um, even some of the older guys like Reese Simmons, so uh, it'll be uh, enjoyable to watch them go out tonight. We'll talk about that in just a tick, but for you, Brett, uh, your injury, how's that going? How's it going along the, with the rehab? Yeah, the rehab's coming along really good. Um, I've had a couple of little runs uh, over the last couple of days, and it's pulled up uh, reasonably well. Um, still haven't run 100% yet, but um, it's come along good. It's uh, where we want it to be. We see Dell, and uh, I was just talking to Brett before we came on uh, for Dragons TV. We were talking about Matt Cooper. I mean, we knew he had the cheekbone uh, incident, but didn't realise that his hand was another problem as well. Yeah, no, he got himself in a uh, spot of bother there in that game, and uh, he certainly come back to the field and the looks uh, for the ladies. But uh, Coops is in good spirits in there talking to a few of the boys, so um, hopefully uh, he'll have a couple of weeks off and now, uh, he'll be right. Yeah, now, Brett, we see a lot of uh, new faces into the side uh, tonight, as Dell said. Alex McKinnon is playing in the number three job, but great for him to get an opportunity to play NRL. You remember your first time that you, you, know, you donned on and ran on for NRL? Yeah, I remember my first time. It wasn't a, wasn't a happy one for me. We got flogged, but um, hopefully that's a bit different for Alex. You know, he's an exciting um, talent, and, um, you know, he's very excited to be out here tonight, and, you know, I think he's in for a big game. Well, I know he's, uh, his folks and family are here watching uh, tonight, and that's an important thing too when your family can come along and watch you play footy. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, I've got a big family, and, you know, having their support's always good, so um, it's great to see his family here, and, you know, this is a night they'll never forget. They've been a huge part of his footy career, so um, they should enjoy it too. Now, Dell, we've got six players out for uh, Origin 2 coming up on uh, on Wednesday night. So, but the boys have been training well. You've been at the training. Yeah, look, I think the good thing about um, uh, this, it gives the boys in the, in the club a bit of uh, bit of depth, an opportunity to step up. You know, over the years, Broncos, Melbourne had to go through it manly, and the Dragons over the last couple of years have been successful. These young players get it. So they know their roles, and they'll, they'll come out and do them tonight. All right, well, let's take a look at uh, the reaction of our Dragons players uh, for being picked. Picked for Origin 2. Yeah, really excited to get the call up again. Yeah, got the call up from our footy manager, Paul Massey. Um, give me some good news, and I was extremely excited and extremely honoured and proud to be selected again. A lot out of game one, just um, the speed and, and just the feeling of game one. So um, yeah, I've, I've, I'm more relaxed, I'd, I'd say, in game two. When you put a few new players in, and especially after loss as well, so I'm sure there'll be a, a few new things, a few new things to do at training. Hopefully, we all put in a good week at training and um, gel together and, and get one up on top of these guys. moves in and puts it. Hopefully the, we all stick in and um, we get on top of them. Now we look at the, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big, big game on uh, on Wednesday night and go the Blues. But uh, having a look at uh, the Dragons uh, for tonight, round 14. Can you believe the uh, half the season's gone so far, boys? Well, mate, for, uh, for Brett, it might, might be going pretty quick. Has it gone quick for you? Yeah, or? it has gone quick. Um, you know, it's always it always goes quick, um, you know, the first start of the year and then towards the back end it sort of slows down. So, but I can't believe we're in round 14 already and, you know, I think um, it's a good place to be and where we're at at the moment. Sure is on, uh, on top of the table. Now, Dell, uh, for State of Origin duties for a lot of our Dragons players, over the next month it's going to be pretty tough. 
Yeah, look, this will be the toughest period. Not only because after you play State of Origin, you've got to come back to club and obviously perform still. And sometimes it can be a bit of a letdown. Uh, some guys go with that adrenaline. So, yeah. All right, we'll uh, take a break with Dragons TV. Thanks to Celebrations, and we'll be back in a moment. Welcome back to Dragons TV. Thanks to Celebrations. We've got Brett Morris joining us, as well as Wendell Saylor, and also the Red Cross mascot, uh, Billy the Blood Drop. We do know this time of uh, year that the Red Cross is certainly looking for a lot of people to donate blood. They uh, need nearly 27,000 people across the nation to do that each week. So do that across the weekend and uh, do it for your state. But we have a look at Win uh, Jubilee here. It looks absolutely beautiful tonight. You like playing here, Brett? This is a, a, here in, of course, Wynn Stadium. Two great fields for uh, watching footy. Yeah, it's uh, definitely a great place to play at. Uh, you always love playing at your home ground. Um, you know, we're, we're fortunate that we've got two home grounds and, you know, we all love the, the supporters that come here and, you know, the Dragons Army on the hill, they go mental all the time, so it's always good. We spent the, uh, the New South Wales government, spent a fair bit of money on this recently, Dell, to uh, upgrade, particularly down this end, uh, around about $25 million, and we'll head down on the 20th of uh, June when we take on the Manly Seagulls and uh, down to Wynn Stadium. That's looking good too. Yeah, it's certainly coming along, and SX Projects have done a great job there, but even down at Wollongong, it's looking unbelievable, and that's what Wollongong deserves, I think. Let's take a closer look at the new additions right here at Cogra's Win Jubilee. This has changed since you and I've retired. Unbelievable, mate. Like the shoebox that was around when I was playing here, but uh, it's fantastic facilities now. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, you see the, the uh, facilities we've got now, they're second to none, and uh, it's great to have new facilities and it just gives the place, you know, that uplift. It's unbelievable. I can't, couldn't, but we couldn't believe it when we walked in here today. It's uh, chalk and cheese, what we've had before. And... Uh, upstairs, which you probably saw today too, in the corporate facilities, we're going to create a captain's lounge up there so past captains of our club can host some uh, former players of our club. And, you know, we've now got a bit of a, a presence about us in facilities where we can do those sorts of things. Always love the facilities, the ambassador loves the facilities, the CEO loves it, and the Red V is a part of us. Yeah, it certainly looks uh, great here at Wind Jubilee. Now, My Dragons is an online forum. We'd love to see you on there with plenty of images, and I do believe, if I'm all right, boys, tonight, one uh, Phil Gus Gould will be heading across to uh, our Red Army over on the hill. Is that right, Del? Yeah, I think he's a man of his word. He said he, uh, I think Ray Warren dared him or challenged that's him to be right, there. That's right, last week, yeah. And my man Gus, um, as he does, he's going to take that challenge up. So that's great for the Red V fans. 